Pogs is a collectible children's game which reached its peak in the mid to late 90s. The Pog itself was a small plastic or cardboard disc, usually adorned with artwork, product labels, popular TV or movie characters, or sports teams. Some were holographic, some glowed in the dark, and some were lenticular. The most expensive set of Pogs you can buy today are the six-piece Jurassic Park set, which are apparently worth one million dollars. The game itself is thought to have originated between the 17th and 19th century in Japan with the game Minuchi, which used clay discs and had similar rules. This would later develop into Menko, which instead used cards decorated with images of ninjas and samurai. In the 1920s or 30s, children in Hawaii began playing a similar game called Milk Caps, where they would collect cardboard milk caps off of milk containers for the game. In the 1950s, new packaging made cardboard milk caps obsolete. However, in 1971, Halia Kala used the cardboard caps as a promotional tool for their new fruit drink called Pog, which stood for passion fruit, orange and guava. The promotion led to a surge in collecting and a revival of the game, which began to be known as Pogs. The 1990 revival of Pogs is credited to Blossom Galbiso, a teacher from Hawaii. Mr. Forsyth took in some mad month and now I think I am turning the game she had played into... as a little girl to Obama. a new generation of response? students. The game quickly spread around Hawaii, leading a Canadian company to start manufacturing milk caps solely to ship to Hawaii for children to collect and play with. The game then spread to the mainland well, so and by 1993 to, to the rest of the world. The Pog fad soared, peaking in it's the mid-1990s. Oh. Pogs were being handed uh, out for opening like bank accounts poster, in Happy Meals bro. as prizes in bags uh, of chips and cereal. The tie bro got. So as a uh, chief questionable officer, I'll see what I can do, all right? For uh, some more posters for the both. And in packets at toy, comic book and grocery stores. Because many children would keep the pogs they won in games from other players, many school Hello, districts chat. considered it pogs is forms of gambling. This stream they today is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends and the, and the League of, of the Wonderful Age. H. League of the Wonderful. This eventually led to them being banned by various schools the across the US, Australia and Sweden. Pog's rules vary among players, but the games all have common features. Each player has their own collection of Pogs and one or more Slammers, which are larger and heavier discs. Before the game, players must decide whether or not to play for keeps, meaning that players get to keep the Pogs they win during That's that accurate. game and must forfeit those that have been won by other players. Each player puts down an equal number of Pogs, which may be shuffled and put into a stack face up. The player who is going first throws their slammer down on top of the stack, causing the pogs to scatter. Any pogs that are turned face down go to that player. Then oh, the yeah, remaining pogs are restacked and the next player has a turn. When no pogs remain in the stack, the player to gain the most pogs is the winner. In 1995, American board game manufacturer Milton Bradley and the World Pog Federation put out an official Pog game, which came with a game board, game pad, 96 Pogs, four Keenies, which is what they were calling Slammers, two Pog containers, a plastic collector sheet, and a guidebook. The game also introduced their new mascot, Pogman. Pogman. The term Pog was claimed as a trademark by the World Pog Federation, though other companies argued that it was a generic term, as it was selected by the children that played the game. In Australia, Pogs were more commonly known as Tarzos, likely due to the Pog trademark. Their first release was in 1995 with the Looney Tunes set, and their name comes from the Looney Tunes character, Taz, the Tasmanian Devil. Although no one knew this, so we called them Tarzos instead of Tazos. The more you know. I think uh, my school implemented like you cannot play for pogs because people are like people started crying because you played for pog and then you kept whatever you won or something. Did that happen to you guys too? Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. It's banned in Sweden. Wait, it's banned. Wait, I wonder if they banned it during my time 
It should be. It should be in the 